Let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right. So here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case would seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail, a Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven, I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Do you know the exterminator guy who's working on Batty's house? Same guy who just did Cassie. Looking right? sharp, yeah. sir. So I let him use the green shipping container to store some chemicals. I asked him if it was poisonous, but he assured me that it was only a sleeping agent. Get this, he told me that he doesn't kill the bugs, he only sedates them so that he can set them free later. Let me get this straight. He's an exterminator who cares about the lives of insects. What a weirdo. I thought so too. But Sam? He told you to 
stories about his pet cop daddy guy is crazy. Every night, I'm touching so down. And he even made a little leash for him so he could see So one day, seen that Janice's oddball nurse is at it again. Oh yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early to chat with the birds. Spends more time with them than he does with Janice. A couple of weeks ago, I walked... So Janice has an appointment with a male nurse every Saturday. He's down feeding the birds by the creek. So full of bile. I mean, I'm just trying to help him, and he's behaving like a complete ass. All right, I better go. You know, it's like he knows that I know that he's hiding something, and he's enjoying that I can't figure out what it is. I know it sounds crazy. He looks like any fragile old man. I think. You no, know, I'm sure.
I'm here to speak to the owner of the house. Uh, Mr. Janus, is it not? You're not on the list. I'm Charles Blake the third. Sir, I will have yeah, to check you if you want to pass, okay? Sir, if you want to come through, I'm going to have to pat you down. This will just take a sec, sir. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. New guy, huh? The regular guy is indisposed. I'm here to take care of Mr. Janus. All right, just ring the doorbell. Someone will be with you in a moment. Lafayette. He's not well. Hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. But if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. You have a very distinct face, my friend. Eastern European, am I right? But more than that. A refined mix of culture. Back. You look almost like an artist's rendering of the perfect man. I knew a man once. A doctor. He would have found you quite interesting, I think. I'll just spend a few minutes with the inhaler to fill my system with as much oxygen as possible before we proceed to the bathroom for the health check itself. Well, while Mr. Janus fills his lungs, I'd like a quick word with you. Please, come with me. I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Nobody gets alone time with Janice unless I know them, and I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. Forty-seven, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up for long. Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, Forty-seven. You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards.
пошла. Don't work yourself into the ground. I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go then. Nicely done, 47. It's time for Janus to pay for his crimes. You know, you might be also. Finally, an end to Janus. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still. We are close now, 47. Do I know him? Mm. Oh, I have to tell you, mm. these are the best muffins I ever had. I'm supposed to meet a client for a house show today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him, Mr. Nolan Cassidy? Um, can say that I do. Well, he's, uh, he's interested in the Schmidt house down the road. You know, the one that... A realtor with a taste for the sweet things in life is in Whittleton Creek to show a house to Nolan Cassidy. It looks like he's stuck at a local muffin stand at the moment. It would be a shame to keep Cassidy waiting, wouldn't it? 
I'm not really from around here. I don't know anything about that. Ah, I see. Well, never mind. You can wait a little longer. I need to squeeze a couple more of these beauties down. Hey, I'm not really comfortable with your proximity right now. Ah, uh, yes. I just love to clean up other people's mess. Hmm. Uh -huh. That sounded odd. It came from over there, right? Uh, can you go see? Please. Si, sí, entendido. Restroom! Restroom now!
neighborhood barbecue party. How suburban. My belly is rumbling a little. Want to go inside? Looks like everyone's invited. Mr. Cassidy, I'm sorry for the delay. I'm ready to take you to the house. About time. Let's go. You know which one it is, right? Last one on the right, far end of the road. I hope you've got your presentation in order. I don't want this to be a waste of time. You understand me? Yes, Mr. Cassidy. I've been eyeing this place for some time. I trust we can make a quick execution here. Of course, Mr. Cassidy. Let's see what sort of thing. This is the downstairs living room. It is most commonly used for watching television and other recreational purposes. Large room, too easy to get to exits. Dark floors, hide stairs easily. A room with lots of potential. What about storage possibilities? Anything of that nature you could show me? Nice work, 47. Let's hope he doesn't set off the alarm somehow. Very nice indeed. All right, let me have a look at this thing. Advanced Kronstadt Matrix Laser Home Security System. We used to break these open for training at the Academy. The thing about these systems is, most homeowners are lazy. So, they don't reset the factory settings and enter their own codes. Let's just try the standard admin code. Just for fun. Well, what do you know? It worked. Looks like Schmidt was a bigger amateur than I imagined. So you're looking to sell this for a stop! Targets are confirmed killed. All that remains now is to find the information we came for and then get out of here. Lovely day. Listen, sir, there's no drama. I just need to check your pocket if you want to pass.
looking good, man. Looking good. Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? Okay, thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. All right. Good job, sir. Thank you. Just hired another guy to give me a comparative market analysis. Sorry. Please proceed, sir. What? Who the hell left that thing there? Here's your chance to change the world. Vote Blake. Lovely day. Vote for Blake at the upcoming elections. Have a fly. Charles Blake III appreciates your support. I haven't been poking around the truck, haven't been behind the house, have you? No. Oh, okay, great. It's it's just that, well, I I saw one of those security people from Mr. Janice's house, and I'm pretty sure he was burying something back there, and I just figured since you guys seem to be, you know, working together, you, you might know about it. Can't say that I... Someone from Janice's security detail buried something in the frog habitat behind Cassidy's house. What could that possibly be?
I got no visual on target, man. I think we're in the clear. Are you a registered vote? Lovely day. Here's a flyer for you. Mr. Blake has many... Excuse me, sir. Are you a registered voter? I'd love to tell you about a new candidate who might just change your life. Yes, sir. A total game changer. I'm listening. Sure to vote come election day. I could have sworn. Jeez. Come in. I've heard something weird. I'm gonna go check it out. Awesome. Yes, it comes with the territory, but you're ripped. Yo, bodyguard. Enough! Stop! This is your fun! Everywhere. Echo Fox drops to November Zulu. Over. Got one naked male here. Something Cassidy looks on. to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfitted with a lot of security and alarms. I'm gonna just blame one of the others. That's what I'm gonna do. Who are they? They never helped me. School down there. Clear. 
Are you in any way involved in this? Talk oh, you did it all right. We've got the killer! Over here! Where the hell did he go? Hey! Uh-huh. It's not an ordinary resident of Whittleton Creek, 47. This must be one of Cassidy's men working undercover. I suggest you keep an eye out for more of them. like to come out to the stand and join us, giving away all these wonderful muffins. Oh, I'd love to, my darling, but I've got to do some sewing. Janus has a dressing gown that needs a few touch-ups, and he's getting anxious. Apparently. You seem to have so many things... A robe for Janus? What could he need that for? How you find and the time. planting today, my man. This has led psychology.
What's wrong with that? Don't do it! What's going on? Charles Blake III appreciates your support. Wonderful. Oh, uh, well, I'm sure... Cigar box with a few cigars and a note inside. Well, this is very interesting. The note indicates that the box was given to Janus by the Constant as per tradition, he writes. 47. This could mean the Constant and Janus meet up on a regular basis. Excellent find. Change the world. Boat Blake. Wonderful. Oh, well, I'm... sitting there most of the day. I don't know what he's reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of Past Shimmers, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal, or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. It's gotta be something from the old man's archives. If that's one of Janus's diaries, it might contain some important information about his past. Our past. Or maybe something that can help us locate the Constant. Right down here. Stand by while I investigate. Hey! hey. Hmm. One of 
Janus's many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the Society. Well, 47, this is valuable information. robe of some sort with a note from Janus attached. Hmm. The note is interesting. Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. This is valuable information, 47. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with a constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. is more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite. Billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst. But it seems to me, Janus was the Ark Society's founder. So chances are, they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You're right. 
it comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but like it happened to someone else. <sighs> your gift and your curse, what they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes, found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Away to the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll 